Hi guys again, welcome back to the channel. Um, I thought I'd give you a in-depth walk around and review of a car I've had for just approaching uh, three years. Um, it's going back in October, so I thought I'd give you a, a run around just in case you were thinking about looking at one of these. Um, they're not the most uh, highly praised car because of their design. No, it's obviously the, it's the Mark II X6. Um, everyone says you should get an X5 because it's more practical, but hopefully I can shed some light as to why I chose the X6 over the X5. Um, so anyway, so here she is. So 2018, 18 plate uh, BMW X640D X Drive. Um, it's known as like the sort of last Ferrari of this shape before they moved to the, the later model. Um, obviously heavily based on the 5 Series. Uh, BMW. Um, this one is highly spec. The only option that I didn't tick was the sunroof because um, I've always had a second or third car. Um, the boot just opened with a key in my pocket. It's obviously a live video, so may as well show you the boot while that just opened. Um, the key's quite funky. It's an M Sport key, um, so it's got the, the M Sport on the side, and that's yeah, sort of a, a nice, uh, nice shape. Boots actually rather practical. Um, it folds back into like that as well. Um, the seats go down either two or one or both. Um, it's got a secret compartment under here. Uh, super guard bits, no spare obviously, but um, decently usable space there. Uh, the boot is opened um, again on the key or um, by the normal handle. There's also a uh, button here which, which shuts it all pretty much standard stuff for like a premium um, SUV um, what gets you know kind of uh, said a lot about these is the headroom in the rear um, I've got some pretty tall rugby type friends um, and they've been in the back a few times and it's not really been a much of a, an issue hope you can see that with with the dark sort of weather we're having uh, in this, this uh, lane um, yeah it's got the uh, premium leather as well I think it's with oyster leather in this one because it's the um, M Sport um, edition it's got a uh, carbon fiber trim here as well um, yeah standard pockets as you'd expect uh, lights there um, center console comes down with some uh, I can do it with some cut holders and a small bit of storage there for I don't know maybe some cheese or um, a book on uh, hats something like that uh, front is pretty much standard stuff uh, it's actually a really nice place to be I'll do a dashboard walkthrough in a second um, you've got standard M Sport wheel from the time uh, shifter I drive selector pretty much standard heater controls and everything on here as well so it's generally a very comfortable place to be the uh, seats are heated um, it's got the M Sport um, extendable squab there as well um, you know memory memory seats good storage with regards to bottles and bits and bobs there as well cup holders here it just folds across to cover it if you didn't want to see show people what you've got more storage in here for more toot uh, the engine this one is a three litre excuse me that's for engine at the bonnet just been opened even though I know I just did it myself because I was there um, bear with me guys Great. After managed to get the bonnet open. Yeah, it's a three litre uh, twin turbo. This one does about 315 horsepower. Um, and bags to talk, you can look up all the specs online. Um, done 18,000 miles and it now having any troubles with it. Uh, it's got going for recall for um, some ISO fix thing this week. Um, so I'll get that done as well. Hopefully give me some kind of nice courtesy car. But no, it's a good lump, pulls really well. It's a four wheel drive. Um, you know, system that uh, you know, holds the road really well. So um, I'd have this engine again that day. Apparently, there's not a lot of difference between this, the 40D, and the 30D in terms of uh, power. Really, not noticeable real-world power, but um, it's um, yeah, it's a good engine uh, on a run. It's about 37 to the gallon. Round town, about sort of 28, 29. So it's a good daily driver. So let's shut that up. This one's got the 21-inch wheels on run track tyres. Uh, the ride is okay, um, it's better obviously on the run than it is 
pan, you know, around town. Um, does pick up plot holes. Um, handling is good. Uh, I'll run through the sports modes in a second. But yeah, so that's uh, that's the external walk around for you guys. Let's give a, a look. Any questions, of course, just you know, drop a drop a comment under the under the channel, um, under the video, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, do my best to to answer them. So let's have a let's have a little look inside. Really warm day today, so I'm gonna uh, fire this up quite quickly and get the uh, get the air on. So yeah, standard uh, BMW. Use foot on the brake, push the. Uh, Push the start button. Beeping it around because it's it's windy about service. But I just got back from Scotland um, and it beeped when we were up there. So um, we uh, we need them to service in 900, in 900 miles since the service. So I will get that done this week. Uh, yeah. So I drive. Just turn the fan down. See, it's one of my first videos. Um, it's uh, yeah. So standard I drive with nav. You know the news, connected drive, etc., etc. Um, you know you can change all the sort of um, settings here which is great so go through the standard menu my mind I normally do because I'm I like that kind of thing is the uh, is the sort of interior lights you can't see it because it's daylight but you can change all the lights along here to blue orange white um, and everything else as well the um, yeah it's all uh, sort of uh, you know, change the sports mode here so that's your uh, your iDrive selector which changes things on the menus up here as you can see, uh, to push you've got media, menu, map, nav, and then controls there. Uh, automatic handbrake with auto hold, so it does that automatically unless you unless you push it. So if you're on quite a, a steep and unforgiving hill, um, you can it can help you with like a hill start. Obviously it's automatic, so it's pretty good anyway. But it just sort of saves you know saves any sort of bumpy starts. Um, all digital display. I actually prefer the older digital display to the to the newer ones. Um, you know, it's all sort of very, very nice indeed. If you change down the modes, you get a different display. For example, you go to comfort, it goes blue. I would have thought I would have said green, to be honest, but it, it goes blue, and it it tells you how the efficient dynamics, excuse me, efficient dynamic system is working. Uh, you get your sort of you know how many miles left on your diesel, um, how well you're driving. It marks you out of five um, and warns you of approaching roundabouts and things like that so you know to slow down etc etc go back into comfort mode it goes to your standard black bmw dials in the day and uh red at night that's the one i roll around in it's perfectly perfectly acceptable go one up into sport it all goes red it gives you an idea of the power that you're doing as well you can also have sports displays on the screen here um which you can make full screen we're just going into here and then make it like that so that's a nice little, nice little thing as well. You can match them together if you like that sort of thing. It is good fun. Um, I can't actually show you because it doesn't show up in daylight, but I will do a um, a, uh, a nighttime video. Um, there's a head-up display here, which I'm, I can't see it through the GoPro screen, but it, it um, basically tells you your navigation, your speed, your traffic sign um, monitoring system as well. So it's... Uh, it's something that if I didn't have my next car, I think I'd definitely miss. I haven't got it in the Mustang or the Adam, so it's um, it's a nice feature to have. Um, yeah, so you've got the soft touch controls down here, which I haven't actually programmed in, so you can you can move along here. Then they're, they're unassigned at the moment, but you can say, yeah, I want uh, number six to be um, a certain radio channel, or number five to be a certain display on here, and push it, and it will it will go straight away. Uh, you've got heated seats here, pretty standard BMW stuff, really. Um, the sink, which makes the, the both um, both sides of the car the same temperature, same fan settings, etc. Um, you know your standard blower controls that turns on and off uh, traffic on the on the screen at the top. DVD player, so it plays DVDs when you're not moving. Um, you can code that out, but wouldn't particularly recommend it. Uh, it's illegal and be you don't want to be watching uh, Flight of the Concords or something silly while you're driving down the M1. Um, Glove boxes. But great size, got my Alan Partridge gloves in there, of course, as you'd expect. Um, they're, um, you know, they're pretty sand, really. My girlfriend hates them. Um, and yeah, so that's the uh, the, the interior, really. Um, buttons on here, you've got uh, your speed limiter and then your cruise control. 
settings that turns cruise control on and off and then up and down it goes up in increments of one or if you push it up like with a bit more sort of forceful push you get an increment of five miles an hour uh, that goes back obviously with zoom as you, as you can imagine on the side here you've got your voice controls so you can tell the car what to do volume for the stereo mode so it goes up through um you know your, your cd player usb bluetooth apple carplay that kind of thing phone volume you've got your two paddles on here which are um very nice sort of tactile up and down a lot nicer than the 93 versions standard uh controls here for your um you know, visibility so your, your, your screen wash and your, and your wipers on the side here you've got indicators and lights as you'd expect lights are down here with an additional space there for more cheese or more hats whatever you whatever you think so let's have a let's have a drive um so you get an idea of what the sort of noise is like and um i'll run you through a, a bit bit more then so hope you join it so far guys um and i will see you i'll have to put the gopro on the screen cheers guys Hey guys, it's the GoPro moved, so let's get this started. Mm -hmm. Idea the sounds it makes. That's the whinging about the service again. So apologies for that. But let's uh let's have a drive. Doors open mm -hmm. as well. Professional video this one as you can see. So um yeah it's very quiet. Uh it's got the usual sort of taxi diesel at idle. Um but apart from that it's very 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 smooth as you'd expect. Um I would absolutely recommend these as a daily driver. Um you know, even on the larger wheels with the run flats, uh, I've had a several um, BMW M Sports over the years, and it's it's definitely the smoothest one with regards to sort of uh, you know potholes and um, ride um, differences between modes. If you put it in uh, comfort, there's no real difference in in handling. Uh, it does restrict the throttle response quite considerably. Um, I very rarely use it. I used it quite a lot driving up to Scotland when you want to run and you put the cruise control at 65 and just sort of sit back and you know soak up the miles but I wouldn't use it in any other situation really because it, it really does limit the ability to sort of pick up and go um, so as I said roll around in comfort most of the time um, in comfort it's got some decent pickup um, I'm just going through a small village at the moment so I can't really sort of show you I'm not be able to see anyway really because you're looking at my my beautiful visage um, but yeah so comfort's great um, but the notable difference is when you put it in sport uh, instantly uh, change it down a gear if it's got one to change it down to um, and it's a lot lot better pick up uh, that's when you get the majority of your performance I generally roll around in sport um, if I'm feeling that way inclined or there's a lot of uh, you know in my journey that I'm going to do there's a lot of sort of junctions to pull out from uh, and it, yeah, it just gives you a little bit more, a bit more confidence. I mean, it's, there's no no real shortage of, of torque uh, in any of the modes, really. But um, sport's the one you need if you're going to, you know, want to get some a bit, a bit sharpish. Um, yeah, sound system is good. Obviously, I can't play music on on YouTube, but uh, it's um, the upgraded, the sort of middle system in this one. Uh, you've got the standard system. Which, uh, to be honest, in BMWs I've had before, is not great. It's uh, you know the, the sounds half decent at low volumes, but it really sort of you know bottoms out at that sort of reasonable volumes that the likes of me would like to listen to. Um, this one's got the Harman Kardon system, uh, which I think is 16 speakers. I'm ready to be stand, you know, to be corrected on that, but it's very good. Uh, it's short of the Audis I've had over the years. It's um, the best. Uh, system I think I've had in a standard system I've had in a car um, the uh, Bang & Olufsen one in the Mustang which you'll see in, a, in another video shortly is uh, disappointing really by comparison I think they just use the badge um, and maybe the amp because the speakers themselves are I think paper coned but in here at least it's got a good sound stage it's, it's very good good uh, mids um, mid trebles and a, and a fair bit of bass um, obviously it's not that kind of car you know you don't you want to be blasting music it's more of a more of a cruiser this one and um, so that that's very good um use of uh, controls on the road very easy uh you've got the the armrest here over the central storage and your elbow just sort of naturally falls there 
and again actually falls onto the um, the gear shifter and the i drive as well so i think bmw what have they got pretty slated for that um in the uh, the first seven series five series that had i drive they really really improved it now um uh, driven a few of the new ones and it's you know while the displays are different it's pretty much the same thing so it's obviously a formula that they're going to stick with for a while and i think that's that's great um it's you know it affects your muscle memory when i get another car that doesn't have i drive there uh you find yourself wishing it did um so that's very good um you can control some of the audio settings from the wheel as i said earlier as well so that's that's good so you've got like a, a junction here which is a bit of a pain so to get across with one of those strange ones that only exist in this one place in essex but yeah absolutely fine it pulls away really well in sports as well it's got a, a nice sort of straight six sound as much as you can out of a diesel but it goes well picks up really well um what else is about the drive uh, yeah comfortable seats loads of sort of um positions you can put them in uh lumbar support uh it's all electric as you'd expect you know backwards forwards up down the um swap goes up and down the backrest goes back and forwards you've got a lumbar support as well uh the headrest goes up and down electrically um and the memory system is good with the two keys when uh girlfriend drives it with her key uh the seat will go into position that she had it in previously so that's that's really good mirrors fold in so you can get through uh narrow gaps just with the button here um i have done a bit of coding on the car um uh using bimmer code so i've been another video on that but yeah you know I've, I've made it so when you lock it you don't have to hold the button down to fold the mirrors in uh and also the boot uh standard it won't go down when you hold the open button because i've coded that out so it just goes down with, with one hold one click of the button um and a few other bits and bobs as well so they are quite yeah easily model if you buy the odb odbc connector um and uh yeah you fancy doing a bit of bit of easy modding as well so so that's uh that's the bmw x6 40d uh m sport edition um for you uh so i'll give you a nice walk through any questions guys if you want to know anything else about it if you're thinking about buying one uh this one will be going back in october um i'm not sure i'm going to get in its replacement probably be the uh the newer version of this i think um although i may go petrol but uh you know await that video in due course so i hope you uh hope you enjoyed guys um be a lot more videos coming got quite a few test drives lined up uh, with various things old new interesting silly pointless some some occasions but quite a few bits coming on the channel so please do subscribe if you like the way i deliver these videos um i hope you've enjoyed it and it's been informative and uh yeah so have a good day guys and i will see you next time so cheers guys all the best